Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Sandy from Holy Shift. Today, another great video. Gonna be installing deflectors, wind deflectors on my uh, upper fairing, my bat wing fairing. <laughs> On my last ride, one of the guys uh, showed up with uh, an amazing here. You can see the picture right now. Showed up with this uh, deflector, and that's, that looked pretty cool, pretty interesting. And I was wondering if it's actually effective. So I went ahead and uh, looked uh, for the item on Amazon. And lo and behold, I find not one, not two, but tons and tons of different suggestions. So trying to figure out which one to get. I just say, you know what, Let, what the heck, let's buy the two that look uh, the most decent, the nicest, the best, and the best uh, uh, price that I can find. So instead of choosing just one of them, I bought both of them. Gonna be installing them both on the bike and compare the two. Which one should I get? The Kiwi or the PYMBT, whatever the name was. So let's get into the install and I'll uh, take a little ride and tell you my final conclusions uh, which is a better buy in my opinion. So just before we even get into it, I'd like to ask you to go ahead to my uh, channel and subscribe. Click that huge subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications every time a new video uh, drops. So the two items come in the standard Amazon packing. The Kiwi just slapped in this little plastic bag. Comes just the plastic itself, no hardware. And the PYMBT, whatever it's called, I'm not sure uh comes in this box let's check it out first one that's the kiwi 38 dollars one two pieces that's the kiwi no frills nothing exciting pymbt this one was 27 dollars and comes in this nice box nice box here's the black bolts with washers that's one thing one thing nice that the kiwi does not have is the hardware and okay these are black completely black tell you the truth I don't know uh, when I uh, ordered if I ordered black and they have uh, the smoked option I'll check that later on and I'll let you know um, this is goes for the right side and kind of soft and this is where the hinge is and the finish over here is kind of I don't know have to smooth this out somehow, but it's not not nicely finished over here. We'll see if it's uh, visible when I put it on, when I mount it. That is the uh, PYMBT for $20, $27. This one is the Kiwi. And I can definitely tell you initially that this bracket is sturdier, made somewhat of a better, better material than this. This one is kind of flimsy. Comparing the two, uh, here too, the finish is, uh, I guess it's where the mold was done. But I think this is a slightly nicer looks a little bit more quality finished than this guy actually they're the same size exactly the same size so to tell you the truth at this stage i don't see a big big difference let's uh mount them and see i'll do the right side one and the other side i'll put the other i'll use the hardware that came with uh, actually the cheaper, the cheaper one that came with uh, the hardware. I'll use that hardware for both sides. So let's do it. So do you see these three uh, plugs? One, two, and three. I'll take those plugs out and use uh, the bolts, the hardware 
to connect it. And this is pretty much how it connects. This is what it's gonna look like. So let's connect it and see. So as you see, there are these plastic plugs. Just they, they come out with a small screwdriver. Take them out, but keep them because we never know if we're gonna like this. Save these plugs, no matter what. Okay, you're gonna start left side, the Kiwi. Simple Allen head wrench uh, for the bolt with a little blacked out washer. Let's see the alignment. And surprisingly enough, the center bolt is perfectly aligned with the center hole. <laughs> Bottom. Third one. Okay, I want to tell you, left side, the Kiwi orientation, the three, the three uh, holes over here on the bracket are not really aligned with the actual holes on the fairing, a real struggle. I gave it a fair chance, but I was able to get it in, but it's a struggle. So that's it, the left one is on, the Kiwi is on. Like I said, holes were not aligned properly, but with a little effort, you get it without shredding the bolts nice and uh there's good friction over here and let's uh let's do the other side okay this one went on very very fast very easy um the holes over here are oriented exactly for this for the fairing so it went in easy no problem whatsoever so uh i have a clear winner at this stage i'm not going to say what it is but installation definitely was way easier on uh py mbt one so let's see what they look like uh from uh, from the front mind you uh we're talking about a different color because this was a dark smoke that I ordered. Uh, maybe they also come in uh, vivid black, but as you can see, uh, there is uh, somewhat of a opening over here. Even at the full closed position, there's an opening and moving the deflector is, there's nice friction to it. As you can see, smoke, dark smoke. And like I said, friction. That's in terms of uh, the aesthetics and functionality of how that thing moves and pivots. Okay, let's look at the other side. Here you can see the color is actually uh, matching the vivid black from, uh, from my upper fairing, of my upper fairing. And as you can see, this also has, in its full closed position, also has uh, a gap, a small, uh, gap over here here slightly slightly bigger i don't know how significant it is if at all but in terms of the covering it covers all the way from from the end of the bat wing straight line line down and it ends over here even a little bit below below the uh the curve over there on the fairing let's see this side same thing over here actually um yeah it's below and exactly, it's actually exactly the same design. Let's see how this uh, moves and pivots. Okay, here, same thing. Nice friction. No, uh, no big, uh, nothing to write home about, let's put it that way. This only thing that's uh, is disturbing me right now, the finish is this. I'll have to take care of that somehow with a, a box cutter, some kind of knife, so I'm smoothing that out. But in terms of functionality, they both look the same. I'll take it for I'll take it for a small ride. See if there's any difference. Let's see if this even works, or it's just a, just a gimmick to sell a little bit more items on Amazon. 
I don't know, probably during uh, the summer when you want more wind coming in from the bottom. Maybe those deflectors, like, you know, like the AC in the car, we have those little vents. Maybe that helps a little bit. But this is what it looks like from the, from, uh, the back side. Okay. So let's take it out for a ride and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, before I even go on the ride, uh, I do want to confuse you a little bit more. I'm not the only one confused here. Actually, the smoked out uh, deflector, actually I hear uh, Cycle Fanatics uh, coming right with, I can hear his, his blast of that pipe. Anyway, uh, this one feels that it's slightly, slightly thicker. I don't know if it means anything or if it's uh, significant, but this one is slightly thicker and the friction with uh, with this movement is a little bit more difficult, maybe. Maybe it's significant, maybe it's not. Here comes Cycle Fanatics. Hey, Mr. John. Get out. How you doing? Hey, buddy, you live now? What's up, holy chef? You're, li you're live, man? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling. I'm, way, I'm just you know? what? We're good. Not no, no. Way? I'm just telling the people about my. I'm in the middle of an install. Are you live? I'm not live, but I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of the install of the nice. two deflectors, the, the wind middle? deflectors. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay, John over here says he gave me his opinion. We actually both like the same one. I'm not going to say. Well, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but he thinks that this is actually going to be very, very significant on the road with uh, wind deflection over there. Yeah, it will be. Uh, only thing it's that gonna, he it's gonna block it off your legs absolutely look yeah this is yeah where your legs are yeah and, and he did notice also like I did this thing right here this and he says no nah, it's damaged so we checked we looked the other one the other one is the same thing it's probably where the uh, the molding the injection of the material when they put it in the mold but I'll definitely have to deal with that it's nice he, though it's a nice it's, it's a nice bracket it's nice it's, yeah it's yeah a nice it's, clean look it's nice so yeah i'll take it out for uh for a spin and see if there's any difference between the two two of them and then uh i'll tell you my conclusions okay so before i even go on the ride i just want to acknowledge uh something one of you you know, the readers over here actually put out a nice comment saying hey sandy you should actually acknowledge the people by names that actually gave you some suggestions so yeah this is going to be definitely reading it out because i had quite a few of you guys Okay, I'd like to thank uh, Mike Martin Sr. He's the one that initially uh, gave me this great suggestion uh, to go ahead and, and swap these uh, reflectors. So thank you very much, Mike. I have uh, Joe, Joe Shields and SF0311. Both were talking about uh, the reflector by Custom Dynamics. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna go simple. Also, Harley Handler. You got a lot, a lot of good suggestions. I don't always take them, but I uh, really, I'm really thankful for all your great suggestions. Additionally, Carlos Gonzalez also did say something about uh, reflectors. And I'd like to thank Joe Mama. He got a spelling mistake that I got. Thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate it. And not all the times I remember all the names, I have to go back. So I do thank you all for, you know, taking part and writing your comments and suggesting. Thank you so much. Test uh, both of them out, tell you if there's a difference. Right back. So your thoughts? So, okay guys, uh, as you see, I took it out, went highway speeds and slow speeds. Checked it also in the open position so I can actually see uh, if the wind is being deflected. And it actually, both of them work, work very, very, very nicely. Tell you the truth, I don't see the big, big difference between the two in terms of functionality. So uh, pretty much the conclusion will be price point and ease of uh, installation okay guys so at this stage i pretty much sure which one i prefer and from the two i actually chose believe it or not the cheaper one 
Now, the truth is the cheaper one actually in this case, in, in, my, in my opinion, is a better bang for your buck. Uh, in terms of functionality, both work exactly the same. Uh, the Kiwi, which is the more expensive one, uh, comes only the plastic itself, no hardware at $38. The cheaper one at $27 comes with the hardware, same functionality. In my opinion, looks better because, you know, the Vivid Black in this case that I chose. So definitely my choice. I'm not saying that the Kiwi, by the way, I'm not saying that the Kiwi isn't good. I'm just saying if I had to choose to pick between the two, I stick with uh, the cheaper one that was $27 or $28. Comes with the hardware. Couldn't be bothered to just pick up, uh, you know, the plastics and then start to search and look for the, the appropriate uh, hardware. So I'll have links down by the description for actually both items. <laughs> you want to choose the other one, go ahead. Both of them are good. I chose the cheaper one, the PYBMT. I'll put a, a little name tag over here, what, uh, you know, the actual name. As I said, links by, uh, down by the description. That's it. We have a few more great videos coming up. Uh, so stay tuned. If you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, want to watch more of these videos, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get uh, notifications every time a new video drops. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Peace out. Right.